Good morning! It is a beautiful sunny day with blue skies, absolutely gorgeous. Washing is on the line because that is the joy of adult life. And today I am going to be talking about Christmas because it's six months to go. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to have a little snack and we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about what I do and what lists I make six months before Christmas because now is a really good time to actually start thinking about it. I know you don't want to, I know a lot of people think it's way too early but if you know me, I love Christmas and I'm super, super organised when it comes to Christmas. Let me make a cup of tea, let me get settled down and let's talk about what to do six months before Christmas. So I'm all settled, I've got my cup of tea ready and I've got my little dish of grapes because trying to be healthy, trying to make myself feel better by eating lots more fruit and veggies. Anyway, I'm already digressing, let's get on with it. If you don't know me, my name is Rachel, I'm a solo mum to one and I love Christmas. It's my favourite time of the year I just love it. I love the countdown. I love the build up. I love Christmas Day. Um, I split Christmas Day with my ex-husband. So I think this year my ex-husband has in Christmas Eve till lunchtime Christmas Day. Then I have him lunchtime Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And then we split the rest of the Christmas holidays equally. That way our son gets to see both his parents on Christmas Day. And as parents, we get to see our son on Christmas Day as well. It works for us. It always has worked for us. So we're going to continue doing it that way other people do the whole christmas season with one parent and the following year do it the other way around we don't do that this works for us this is how we do it anyway now that it is the 25th of june it is exactly six months until christmas which is super exciting now i always start around this time the first thing i do is I start making lists. So I kind of do one or two things every single month. And then after my birthday is when I really kind of ramp things up again. So I will be making a video every single month on the 25th of the month from now until September. And then after my birthday, which is the very last day of September, that's when things start get a bit busy on my channel to do with Christmas. I will go to different shops and show you around the Christmas stuff. I'm even thinking of doing a Christmas fair in the NEC in Birmingham this year, which is on the 16th and 17th of November. My son possibly will have a grading on the 16th, so I'll be going on the 17th of November. Um, but I'll see if I can go and do all the logistics and stuff nearer the time. Um, I'm hoping to go to a few Christmas markets this year, but I also give you lots of tips and tricks and present ideas and loads of different stuff to do with Christmas to help you out. Now, the reason I start so early with six months before Christmas is I start making my list. What lists? do I need to make to be prepared for Christmas? So to start with, my list will be presents, like who am I buying presents for? And if I can think of any ideas to get people stuff, I'll start looking out for things as well. Uh, if I'm doing Christmas cards, who do I need to send them to? Do I need to send them abroad? Do I need to get addresses? Can I just give them out by hand? Can I give them out at school? So am I going to be doing Christmas cards this year or not? I know a lot of people do them and a lot of people don't. So let me know what team you're on. Because I don't really do Christmas cards apart from immediate family. Uh, but my son obviously does Christmas cards for his school. So let me know what you do. The other list that I would have is decorations. Have I got all the decorations I need? Do I need to buy any more decorations? Uh, did I throw any away last year that were no good? Do I need to replace them this year? So the decorations is also another list. Um, also any events. So is there a work event I need to attend? Is the school events? Oh my God, the school. The school should have their own Christmas list of events. There could be nativities. There could be pantomime trips. There'll be loads of different things going on at school to do a Christmas. So making sure that I've got teacher gifts down there, Christmas cards to give down there, extra funds for anything that they're going to put on that I need to pay for. I put all that down on my event list. Is there any other parties that will be thrown from family or friends that we need to um, organise or we need to uh, 
put in our calendar to know that that's something that we're going to be doing. I know that my ex-husband does a cousin's day. So all the cousins get together for one day and they go off and do something, be it bowling, be it get together at a karaoke thing or something like that. So is there any events that is going to be happening that you need to account for? And like I said at the beginning, my ex-husband and I, we split our Christmas day with our son. So do you have to sort that out with your ex-partner? Who's going to have the kids on what schedule, what time, when they're coming back? I organise everything for my ex-husband. I always give him an email. He checks it over if it works for him, which nine times out of ten it always does. We agree. If it doesn't work for him, he comes back with any adjustments and then we go back and forth until we find the right common ground that works for us both. So is there anything like that that you've got to organise? Are you organising anything at a school or anything else or a trip or anything like that? Do you have to think I'm organising that this, this year so I need to put that on my list of things to do? If you've got small children in your family, either your own children or grandchildren, do you have a visit to Santa? Do you have a Christmas day out? Even if it's not a visit to Santa, do you go somewhere Christmassy like a farm park or um, a party or something like that to do with Christmas. Last year my son and I went to Drayton Manor for Christmas. I don't know what we're going to be doing this year but we obviously are going to go and see Santa. We're going to do a Christmas fun day out. I always spend a yes day with my son where he has a whole day where he can, I say yes to anything within reason of what he wants. He's already organised that. We're obviously going to go and see Sonic 3 because that's out at the end of the year. He wants to go to the VIP area in the Cine World as well. And then he wants to go to the toy shop and buy a Christmas present for himself with my money. <laughs> my kid is so stupid. Leading on to that, it's seeing family. When am I going to see family? Because I spend Christmas with my son, just me. And then obviously he goes to his dad. So when am I going to see the rest of my family? My brother and my nieces, my dad and his wife, my mum. When am I going to see all those other people? How can I sort out the logistics of that around my son being with his dad and obviously spending quality time with him as well? And another list that I make is what am I going to do for myself? I try and take at least one day um, throughout the month of December, more towards Christmas when my son's with his dad, where I can take a break and do a little bit of self-care, maybe do my nails, read a book, watch some Christmas films, just take a day where it's just downtime just for me before obviously Christmas really starts ramping up and then we've got Christmas. Then my next list is to make sure that I've got an essentials list. Now my essentials list is really important to me. So this is making sure I've got black bags, I've got sellotape, I've got blue tack, I've got screwdrivers, I've got batteries, I've got wet wipes. I've got everything that I might need in my essentials list so I can start picking things up. Baking parchment, tin foil, all those different things is my essentials list. These are things that we will not think about when we're in a stress haven of Christmas. So if I start making that list now, I can pick things up in Home Bargains, in Poundland, in Asda. And I can pull it all to one side and then therefore I've always got that backup because obviously most shops, apart from the little corner shops that you have, are closed on Christmas. So if you've forgotten anything, tough. <laughs> so making sure that I've got that essential list is also really important. And then also the final thing that I do is I check out what food I'm going to be having. So because I've only got my son for half the day on Christmas day, we don't have Christmas dinner on Christmas day. We'll either have it Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. So what am I going to feed my son either for Christmas breakfast and lunch or for dinner, depending on what side of Christmas that I have him. So I start making meal plans on Christmas Day of what we could each have that's going to be quick and easy to do so I don't really miss the day with my son in the kitchen. Because if I had him Christmas morning and spent all morning in the kitchen cooking a massive roast for him probably not to eat it because he's too excited but then 20 minutes later to give him to his dad when have I seen him when it comes to Christmas day I don't do a Christmas dinner I either have it on Christmas Eve if I have him or I will have it on Boxing Day when I have him so those are my basic lists of what I do for Christmas and the reason I start now especially with the presents and everything else 
Because if I've got little kids, I have got a little niece in my family, I might see something for in a charity shop or I might see something for a car boot. So there's lots of car boots with the weather getting nicer now. There's a lot of outdoor car boots. So I might be able to pick something up for her there or even for my son because he's massively into Pokemon. So rather than spend a fortune on stuff, I might find something secondhand at the car boot and be able to put it away for Christmas. So this is the reason I start early when it comes to Christmas presents. I try and find the bargains now to save me money later on towards Christmas. Also, it helps me start to figure out what food I'm going to want uh, for over the Christmas period, sweets and chocolate and all that kind of stuff. As long as it's got a good uh, use by date on it, then I usually buy it and put it away. It gives me a chance to get my essential stuff ready. And it also gives me a chance to start looking at different things that I need to go and book for. So the pantomime that we go and watch every single year, the tickets have now been released. So I'm going to purchase them in the next couple of weeks uh, before, way before Christmas, so that I know I've got those in ready and that means that gives me a little bit extra money when it comes to December when everything just gets a little bit more expensive doesn't it so this is why I start so early first of all I just write a list then I start looking around and filling those lists up and then once I've done all that then I can actually start really delving into Christmas and getting ideas about what we're going to be doing also we do Alf on the Shelf as well so this gives me a perfect opportunity to start getting Elf on the Shelf ready. This year, I'm going to be creating an Elf on the Shelf idea list, which you can download for absolutely free. I don't want anything for it. It's just so you can get some Elf on the Shelf ideas if that's something that you want. If there's anything else that you would like me to create uh, for the Christmas season, then do let me know. But I am going to be making these videos every single month and then my birthday is the very last day in September and as soon as it hits that 1st of October I am going to be in Christmas mode. Big time Christmas mode. Now if you were here last year you know what that's about and I also will be doing a vlogmas again in December too. I only go from the 1st to the 24th of December. I don't film Christmas Day, that's family time but I might do a little bit afterwards and just go through what we did at Christmas. So that is why I start Christmas so early. So do you start Christmas early? And if you do, how early do you start it? Also, let me know in the comments down below whatever list that you make that I may have forgotten. Um, Because those are the ones that I do every year, but I may have forgotten one, which I will add in. So do let me know if you make extra lists than I do. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. I know it's six months to go to Christmas and a lot of people don't like talking about Christmas so early, but I do, I love it. I'm really excited for it. So I really appreciate you watching. It means the world to me. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new here, but yet to subscribe, then please consider doing so. If you have subscribed, liked, shared or commented, thank you so much for your continued encouragement and support. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a good morning, good day or good evening and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.